I was just going to say that um, one of the things I think you need to do is to actually um, bring your planning department together with town centre management and work those two parts together. Because if you start actually working with the planning system and the town centre management, you can understand exactly what all the retailers and the landowners um, and the other interested bodies there think needs to be done. And a lot of it does come down to um, things that are nothing to do with planning, like marketing. Those are the things that can actually protect these small, special little clusters, because you're going to need to tell a lot of people that that's what's there and that, 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 that you can then build the footfall. Great. Right. Thank you. Uh, I simply wanted to reflect there are a couple of um, if you like, corrections to the policy framework or the legal framework within which this, these ideas are being considered. Um, the last question we were due to come to is about lobbying priorities. And I, if there is a consensus view that we should, or, or it would be desirable if the local authority was able to in some way control the nature of the tenants rather than simply the use classes, then that's something which could be an appropriate answer for question nine. Uh, I'm happen to be involved in policy development for one of the political parties at the moment, and this is absolutely a live question, which is do we want Tesco to be able to open everywhere um, or not? And you can argue the toss on it, but at the moment I appreciate the tools are not there, but we could lobby for it as we do on many other things. Thank you. Um, Alistair Smart, okay. Crown Estate. I'd like to say thank you for everyone for their kind words on Regent Street. It, it hasn't been easy. Ownership has helped and control. Um, Westminster have helped us. Um, they have allowed us to uh, bring forward facadism and to uh, bring more modern retail. Um, I would say, though, in terms of protection of the retail offer, I think the environment uh, and public transport are very key. Uh, we have a poor environment for all of our shopping areas within London. Yes, you do have to link them. Yes, you have to tend to mix the whole. But if you don't improve the environment on, on, on all of the streets, you'll fail. Because someone will want to go to Blue Water. Thank you. Um, just another point on the small shops point. Um, I think it is very, very difficult to intervene in tenure representation. I also think, in fact, the West End and parts of it are very successful because there is a huge variety. And a lot of the streets that have been improved are, in effect, full of independence. So I'm just not sure how big the problem is that you're trying to crack. That's the first point. And the second point is, what does this really mean? Because if, if this is leading towards differential rent through planning obligations, if that's part of the debate, then I think that has very significant risks and consequences. So I don't know if that's in the back of your minds, but all I'd say is if it is in the back of your minds, I think essentially we'll, we need to go into a lot of detail. Um, and, and another example, you've had a small office policy, for example, for the last 20 years, and, and we've worked it through, and I think there's now an acceptance that that policy, in fact, has become counterproductive. And I think your stance, the core strategy, is to move away from that policy. So with the benefit of that experience, we need to be very careful before, again, we intervene in a market that creates an unintended consequence that for other land uses you're now stepping back from. Thank you. Other gentlemen in the front. I'd just like to say I, I agree with what's just been said, um, but to add in my particular area, St. James, there has been an unfortunate development uh, over the last 10 years where a lot of buildings, such as bank buildings and um, other retail buildings, have been changed into A3. And there's so much A3 in, in St. James now, it's, there's, it's, it's gutted with the place. They don't need another restaurant particularly a licensed restaurant and it's, it's something that has changed the character of the area and this has been supported by a study done by our trust and it, it, that's a consequence that must be looked at where there's a change of character of an area which is unwitting but it happens over a large number of years. Yeah. 